G'day guys, welcome back to our third scenario exercise. So let's just jump straight in. Let me share the screen. This is number three and it's a exercise involving a scenario with a girl called Amy. So let's get into it. Amy is the daughter of a good friend that you've known for many years and have gotten on well with. Amy has been in a long-term relationship that has just recently ended. Both of you just happened to meet on the train and after a bit of chit chat, Amy says, my bloody mum, she keeps asking me to come to a big Christmas party. I just don't feel like celebrating after what I've been through. Everyone will be there with someone except me. The reply, come on, Amy, your mum probably just thinks that you'll never get back to normal if you shut yourself away. Anyhow, it's not as if the two of you were married. He was only a boyfriend and there are plenty more of them out there for a pretty girl like you. Okay, so let's go from here. So that's the response. You can see it there. Again, this is a good spot to pause the video and answer these questions. What do you think the likely impact of that reply was to Amy? What seems to be Amy's losses? Can you imagine? I'm sure you can. Every one of us has been in relationships that have ended. And so we've got a ballpark idea of some of the losses that can come up for us when a long-term relationship has come to an end. Again, we're going to have very good memories of how we felt when uh, a long-term relationship we had broke up. So again, what do you think the the feelings are that Amy's having here and which one seems to be cl most clearly expressed? And then most importantly, how would you respond to Amy? You're sitting on the train with her, you've been having some chit chat. She tells you about her mum and the Christmas party and how she wants you to come, but that she just doesn't feel like going and being the odd man out. How do you respond in a way that conveys to Amy that you're trying to listen and understand? Okay. What do you think the likely impact of the above uh, reply was and why? Well, I've said, I would not be surprised if Amy was thinking to herself, why did I bother opening my mouth? I've just been told that what was so important to me was really nothing at all. The response looks like a very clear effort to change Amy's perspective. Amy's not asking for this, but rather hoping that someone might value her and what she's going through. You see? So Amy's going to sit on the rest of this train ride thinking, gosh, you're just like my mum. You don't listen. You don't understand. Have you never had your heart broken? You see? So that's what, you know, Amy's going to be sitting there thinking. What seems to be Amy's losses? Okay, so again, remember our firm acronym, functional identity, relational material. We can guess that Amy's losses will be centered around identity, relational, and perhaps even material loss. Amy's lost an important long-term relationship, so that's going to have an identity effect as well as relational. She's lost her dreams and plans that she had with this man. She's been in a long-term relationship. She's a young woman. They're making some plans for the future, you know, um, not only holiday plans, but perhaps where they're going to live, where to from here, the dreams of perhaps a family, holidaying, all that life has to offer. Well, that's just disappeared now that the relationship's gone. And Amy's lost this feeling of being a couple. She makes that pretty clear in, in her statement. Um, that was very important to her. Um, important enough to feature in a main reason why she doesn't really want to go to this party because she's going to be the only one that's alone. And the relationship with her mum's been dealt a blow because Amy's going to feel that her mum doesn't really understand her, that she's forgotten. Surely, do you remember the hundred years ago when you were a young girl, mum? Did you ever have your heart broken? It was, yeah, it was just a boyfriend, but it meant a lot. And you know, when I was with him, he was my everything, that sort of thing. But you've forgotten about that. And you're just dismissing it like it was a bit of nothing. 
Um, and again, I know you're coming from a good space. I know you want me to come out and perhaps have a chance of meeting someone new, but I don't feel like it. It's too soon. And you're just not getting that. And perhaps there's a material loss because as a couple, they may have shared an apartment. Um, they might have paid together for an upcoming holiday. They might have even taken out a loan together as a couple for a car or something like that. So it's very possible that there could be material losses for this um, for Amy as well, although it's certainly not at the top of the list of her losses. So the feelings, well, anger, brokenhearted, blue, disappointed, embarrassed, miserable, sad, sorrowful, withdrawn. That's how she's feeling. And I think that the clear ones expressed are anger and embarrassment and just feeling miserable and unhappy. Okay. So when I'm going to now respond to Amy, so I'm imagining Amy speaking to me, how am I going to respond? So what are some losses I can imagine? Okay. And if I'm choosing to respond based on the losses, what would an example of that be like? Well, it's disappointing that your mum doesn't understand you at all. Again, talking about that relational loss with the mum. Okay. Or it sounds like all the dreams and plans you had for the future just disappeared. Or it's heartbreaking to know that he will love someone else. Okay. And responses based on Amy's feelings. It's so annoying that your mum doesn't get the impact of this on you. Or it sounds like the last thing you feel like doing with a broken heart is going to a party. Or it's embarrassing to feel like the odd one out. Okay. So I think it's fair to say with any of these responses, Amy's going to feel heard and understood. I reckon with any of these responses, she's going to go, exactly, exactly. And that response is what we're always looking for, okay? I want someone to say yes or exactly or you get it. Um, that's what I'm looking for. And that'll show me that my response is pretty much hitting the nail on the top of the head, okay? So again, give me an idea of some of your responses. It's the best way to learn. It's only going to be between you and me. You email me. I'll just email you back and give you some feedback about your responses, okay? But this is, this is a big part of how we learn, all right? But again, start being aware of feelings and losses. And when you can name some of the feelings and losses, incorporate them into the response back to the person. And in that way, for sure, they're going to feel heard and understood, respected and valued. All right, let me stop sharing. Thanks again, guys. God bless.